butter, that's my guy, that's my man. my man He ain't got no question, he won't raise his hand no, That's my butter, that's my round, that's my guy hey, hey. If I get fly, then that mean he get fly yeah. That's my butter, and don't ask DJ Ben Ben Ben. Hey yo, what's good? It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. Hey yo, check this right. I just want to say this before we even start this video. Um, I know y'all gonna enjoy this video. We're gonna have a lot of discussions about this, but I just want to say this. The reason why people rock with this channel, right? I say all the time that I'm not a journalist, I'm not a blogger, I'm not any of that stuff. Um, I'm just a DJ from the east side of Buffalo, New York, who likes to do videos on things that actually interest me. And the reason why a lot of you guys rock with this channel is because I always keep it 100. I try to be unbiased as possible on every situation, even if it's somebody that I like. Um, I will make this disclaimer, though. If it's ever a video about Dipset or my Bay Fantasia, I'm going to be 100% biased. I'm not going to hear nothing bad about that, um, except for the several videos I did on Hell Rail getting beat up and all that. But besides that, if it's Dipset and Fantasia, I'm probably going to be super biased on those type of um, videos. But... I got to keep it all the way 100, and a lot of people has been inboxing me all day long. Bandana fam has been hitting me up like, yo, you got to talk about this whole situation with 6 9 baby mother. And really, I try to stay away from this topic. Um, I was probably one of the first people to see the Vlad TV interview um, that she did with Vlad TV where she's talking about 6 9 stitching and all that. And I kind of wanted to stay away from this uh, topic just because I did a video uh, recently on academics and 6 9 basically saying how they were wrong for some of the things they were doing to Sarah. Now, I want to say this. Although we all have our own opinions, a lot of times in the comments, you guys have opinions and say that I might be wrong on something. And if I don't feel I'm wrong, I'm going to say that if I am wrong, I'm going to admit that, too. Um, but I got to keep the same energy. That's the reason why you rock with this channel. So I am going to keep the same energy, the same energy that I have for 6 9 and for academics saying that they were wrong for uh, coming at Sarah. I still feel that way. I still feel that at academics um, coming at Sarah, which is his homie's baby mother, is 100 percent wrong because that's not your position. Like you're a whole man. Man. Like you shouldn't be coming at a female regardless. And that's your man. You should have enough respect for your man not to disrespect his baby mother, even if he's disrespecting his baby mother. That's just not your position. Um, as far as 6ix9ine, I still feel that he was wrong for publicly disrespecting his baby mother because at the end of the day, he's locked up right now. He can't physically be there for his child. You know who's there for his child? Sarah, his baby mother. So, regardless of what's going on at the end of the day, whether he's supporting his child financially, I know a lot of you guys are saying, well, 6ix9ine got money. He's still sending money to his child. Um, money isn't anything what isn't everything i'm um, actually spending time with your child and taking care of your child is so at the end of the day you got to give her at least that respect because while you were making all these dumb decisions trying to be treyway and gang gang this and now you fighting a rico charge and you locked up um she was at home taking care of your child at the end of the day regardless of what she did i know a lot of you guys are well she did it to shoddy she did this with this person she was doing this and sleeping with the gang and all that even if she did even though there's no facts saying that she did even if she did you still owe her enough respect for the of your child not to do that publicly so the reason why i say i got to keep the same energy is because we just going straight to it um sarah did an interview with vlad tv earlier today or yesterday well technically it's yesterday anyways um she did an interview with vlad tv where in that interview she actually read the paperwork and commented saying how six nine was snitching now there's a couple things we got to talk about in this video um one of the things is Sarah was wrong for doing this interview. I'm just going to say that flat out. Sarah was 100% wrong for doing this. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, well, it's, 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 it's public knowledge. Everybody would have found out. You're right. So let academics, let everybody else do these videos, talk about how he was stitching all that. But you're his baby mother. You're taking care of his child. I don't think you should have did that. That was 100% wrong in, in my eyes, just for the simple fact of... For the love of your child, so say five, six years from now when your child is on the internet and she's scrolling through these Vlad TV interviews, she's going to know that her mother did an interview about her dad. Now, when kids are young, they really can't see any wrong that their parents do. So his daughter probably, she don't understand the whole stenching thing and the whole gang gang and street codes and all that. All she knows is her dad is not around, but she's going to see that video of her mother basically dogging her dad. And you know what 6 9 is going to do since he's already on bad terms with the baby mother? He's going to say, yeah, listen, look what your mom did. So that's going to cause a whole nother type of riff and, and just a bunch of other stuff that's unnecessary. So I think she was wrong for this. Um, another thing that I want to talk about too, um, a lot of you guys always say that Vlad TV is the police, Vlad TV is the feds. And I actually did a video about Vlad TV saying that um, I don't agree. Well, I didn't agree with that to a certain extent of back when Rallo and um, who was it? Uh, I forgot his name from Philly. Uh, A.R.A.B. When they were doing videos with Vlad TV, they did videos with him. Um, 
admitted to a bunch of stuff that potentially could be used against them in court and they wind up getting arrested. So everybody's saying like Vlad TV is the police, Vlad TV is the feds, they got them locked up. I don't feel that way. I feel like if you're a grown man and you get on Vlad TV and you admit, or even if you're lying about crimes that you're currently still doing or things that you could be locked up for, that's 100% on you. Vlad TV is a business. Like his, his goal is to create content, to get views, to get commercials, to make money. So by you getting on there, admitting to some stuff to get you locked up, that gets him more money, that's not his fault. That's smart business. He ain't forced you to say it. I've never seen Vlad TV, even this interview with Sarah. I don't see a gun to her head. She willingly did this. Now, I will say that a lot of you guys had conspiracy theories saying that Vlad TV was the police. And this interview right here kind of made me not believe that but in a way it, it's a possibility because out of all outlets that sarah could have did this interview with she could have did it with bbn network i'm not even saying me i think the perfect outlet for sarah to do this interview would have been bbn network because up until this point jack frost has been totally unbiased about the whole situation he's always been respectful about um sarah and stuff like that too and he has a pretty big audience that would have been the perfect platform to do it although i would have liked it, that interview i've done some unfavorable videos about six nine and different stuff like that too so i'm not a hater today shout out to shout out to be me a network too and she could even did uh joe button podcast or any of the like real talk media she could do any of these outlets but it's just kind of odd to me that she did it with vlad tv out of all people like you go on vlad tv do an interview and you get locked up the next week so i'm not saying y'all right about y'all conspiracy theories about vlad being the feds and all that but i'd say it's more likely to me at this point um so with the whole Sarah situation, like I said, I think that she's wrong um, for doing this interview and she's the worst baby mother like ever at this point. Like I've totally been respectful about Sarah. Like I said, I know it's a hard situation when you're raising a kid and your baby father is a millionaire and you see him with all these different women and he's basically disrespecting you in public and all that. That's a lot to deal with. Um, it's a lot to deal with, with six, nine allegedly snitching on basically the hood that she still has to walk around uh, New York city and all that. And her life can be in danger and all that. That's a lot to deal with. So, him knowing that's a lot to deal with, he should have been a little bit more careful as far as the things that he publicly said about Sarah. But like I said, on this channel, I always want to be transparent. I always want to keep the same energy with everything. Except for Dipset, my Bay Fantasia. I'm just saying that. But <laughs> I want to keep the same energy with everything. A lot of people's inbox me like, yo, we don't see you reporting on this. So I just want to tell you that I, I agree with y'all. I feel the same way. I think Sarah was wrong. Even though I did the video on academics and 6 9 saying that they were wrong, I'm keeping the same energy. She's wrong right now. 300% wrong right now. Also, what I wanted to tell y'all too is that... um. I can't really put out too inf too much information because it hasn't been confirmed yet, but we're probably about 40% sure that I, I'll have an exclusive interview with somebody that's, um, how do I say this? Somebody that's involved in this whole situation that hasn't been on any other platform on YouTube that I've seen really any other media outlet. And I don't call myself media. Like I said, I'm just a DJ who do these videos like that too. But, um, there's a, there's a high chance, a high chance that I, I will have this exclusive interview. And when we lock that interview in, it's going to bring a lot of insight to this whole situation. Um, it's, it's going to be crazy if we can lock that in. Like I said, it hasn't been 100% confirmed um, at this point. We're working on that hopefully in the next week or two. Um, but I just want to share that with y'all, Bandana fam. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit that like bell. Also, too, totally off topic. Um, like I said, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When I'm right, I'm right. Um, apparently, when I did the video about Dame Dash, if you look, it's probably like a video or two before this video. When I did a video about Dame Dash, I was saying how Dame Dash and um, Big uh, were, were close friends and they're, they were both from Harlem. Now the whole point of it was that they were both friends, but apparently I was wrong that Biggs is not from Harlem. He's from the BX or whatever like that. I don't know. I've never been in New York City. I'm from Buffalo, New York, but if I was wrong about that, um, my apologies. If Biggs is from BX and not Harlem, I don't know how close they are together. I don't even know if Harlem is in BX. I don't know. But anyways, um, if I was wrong about that, um, shout out to the person who corrected me on that. It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Also, before I forget Get. I wanted to ask y'all too. I'm thinking about doing some live videos uh, twice a day. I want y'all opinion on that. If y'all think we should do some like live videos where like I do like an hour live video where we can talk about um, the other videos I did or just different topics and stuff that's going on. Let me know in the comments or inbox me on Instagram or Twitter at DJ Bandana Black. I'm thinking about doing a live video maybe in the mornings about 10 a.m. and doing a late night um, live video called the Blackout um, Show. 
uh, maybe about midnight, every night about midnight or like that. So just let me know if that's something that y'all would rock with. If we should do the live videos, or do y'all like these videos a little bit better? I kind of want to do some more of the live videos though, because I can I have a little bit more um, conversation with just with the with the with the fan, with the bandana fam and all that. So just hop in the uh, comments. Let me know how you feel about that. Let me know how you feel about this whole Sarah situation too. Do y'all feel that she was wrong for doing this interview, even though Six Nine did her wrong and allegedly all this other stuff like that too? I just think her being respected this long and holding it down this long, I think she was wrong. And I think there's a little bit more uh, to, to the story. I think there's a reason why she was on Vlad TV. I don't think that she just out of all, because everybody was inboxing her for, for interviews. I think there's a reason why she was on Vlad TV. And I think that that's going to, um, in the next couple of weeks, that's going to play out the reason why she was on uh, Vlad TV. Another thing that too, that I wanted to say too, and this is just my opinion. Um, this is a little conspiracy that I have. I think that with six, nine, with, with the feds giving six, nine, such a great deal. I think that that's actually going to play out in the long run. Um, good for shoddy and the rest of the people that's locked up on that superseding indictment, because at the end of the day, um, the government is being unfair. Um, the reason why I say they're being unfair, because like, say, for example, there's a case where I'm not going to say where, but there's a case where I'll give you an example. Say like El Chapo, right? Say if the feds went to El Chapo and he was like, oh, listen, um, even though you're the leader, you're the head of all this thing. We'll give you a deal where you'll totally get off. You tell on your workers. The whole point of an investigation in the feds and all that is to work from the way down, work from the bottom and go up, like to get the person that's on the top. So when they're cutting deals with the person that's on the top, the like to lock up the small fish, that's kind of unfair. And I think that um, those other people that's on that case with six, nine that he's allegedly snitching on may have a counter suit or a counter case uh, on their hands where the government technically is being unfair because if they have actually evidence and like, I'm not snitching right now because it's on the internet, but if they have phone conversations of evidence of six, nine actually putting a hit out on somebody, but they saying like, listen, even though you put the hit out on them, you paid the money for them. Um, we'll cut you a deal as long as you give us the person that actually did it. Um, that kind of defeats the purpose of the investigation because the point is to get the person who actually caused the caused the harm like that. But like I said, that's not based on facts. It's just my opinion, and I think I I, I think it's gonna be some of the things that happen that we're gonna see in the next week or two. Some things that I have a little bit of information on that I really can't talk about too detail right now. But anyways, hop in the comments. Let me know how you feel. It's DJ Bandana the Black, Mister Well Connected, even more respected. I'm a that's my brother. That's my round. That's my guy. My guy. Yeah, what you touch? So touch the sky. Hold up, hold up. That's my ace. That's my homie. That's my man. My man.